Hey Stride Tribe, it's Michelle Cannon, your nutrition specialist, back on here with my Trader Joe's haul. So um, I had to wait in line for a very long time and it's kind of like the wild, wild west out there, as you know, people with masks and people are wiping things down, obviously really good. So I wanted to actually bring the camera in there and go through things, but I didn't think that was appropriate right now with all that social distancing. And um, I wanted to actually come in here and unbag things and show you, but I had to wipe everything down and disinfect it. So, wow, this new normal, it takes, you know, three times as long to grocery shop, but grateful that stores like Trader Joe's are still open and we still have access. So what I wanted to do today is go over some of the items that um, you should be getting um, as staples from stores like Trader Joe's or Vons. Um, Trader Joe's is one of my favorites, um, but also help you guys navigate the labels. So if you had a choice between two things, like what is the healthier option? So. I'm just gonna go through Trader Joe's like I take you on a shopping trip and hit up the aisles in the order that I did. So the, for the first thing, which is actually pretty straightforward, was the produce aisle. So I just grabbed, you know, organic when I could, zucchini squash, a great staple. Again, all of this produce can be frozen, you guys. So if you want to chop up zucchini squash, put it in your freezer, a great way to throw into soups. Um, you know, you can put them in the oven, so good. But anyway, I like making um, zucchini pasta with this. So I chop it up, have a spiral spiralizer, and um, it's such a great hearty way to replace um, pasta if I, if I need to. And I like to do zucchini lasagna with this as well, slice it up in thin slices, layer it, use some marinara, and then put some ground turkey and also bake it in the oven. Really hearty, really good, but then without all those extra carbohydrates and calories from the pasta. So zucchini is a staple for me. Um, again, pretty straightforward. Carrots, bagged carrots, avocados. I got the um, organic, again, um, whenever you can, if it's available, get organic. Um, but these are really not ripe right now, so I'm gonna wait, so it's gonna be a while. And when they ripen up, I'm gonna actually take a couple of these, cut, cut them up and wrap them in parchment paper, put them in a freezer bag and freeze them so I have them on hand. Um, again, another great way um, item you can put into smoothies when it's frozen. Um, baby lettuces and these power to the greens. I've talked about these before in my other blogs, but um, baby greens are the most potent type of greens you can buy. If you think about um, a green when it's about ready to sprout, all that power and energy is used into growing the green, and right when it's picked, it's at the height of its potency, a lot of phytonutrients here, um, a great way to get um, all those powerful mineral, minerals and vitamins that you need from the greens. Again, freezing is great. I love using these power to the greens in my smoothie, and this for um, salads you can throw together. So if you get a couple extra bags, maybe take a few handfuls, um, throw them in a freezer bag, and throw them in your freezer so you always have them. Great addition to, soup, to soups or sauces if you want to seek them in for your kids too. Um, this, I love this broccoli um, slaw from Trader Joe's. Again, um, a good way to sneak them into your kids. You chop them up really small and throw it into some soups, some sauces. Um, I like making kind of like a coleslaw salad with this. I throw on some chopped um, cashews and some um, shredded chicken and it's a really good salad. So they seem to always have this. I really like this. Um, mushrooms, pretty straightforward, but this is what I also love at Trader Joe's, these steamed already um, cooked lentils. Beans are a great staple to have right now, you guys. You can get the canned, but this one, um, again, it's pre-cooked. You can take a couple of spoonfuls, throw it on top of a salad, eat it alone. Great snack on top of, you know, maybe a whole grain cracker or throw it in tortilla. But the lentils offer 10 grams of protein per serving, so a really nice amount, and then six grams of fiber. So high in fiber, high in protein, a great staple and pretty shelf stable. These lentils are great. Okay. We're moving right along. I think with the next I shop for um, poultry. So I'm going to go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, or gra organic ground turkey and this or gra organic free range chicken. Um, I always try to look for brands that are organic. I always try to look for brands that are free range. It's healthier for you. It's more humane for the animal. Um, this one is the 93% lean and the 7% fat. I don't get the 99% lean um, turkey. I like the fat in it. It's good for you. It actually makes it a little tastier, not as dry when you cook it up. And again, getting a couple of these, throwing them in the freezer when you need it. Um, excellent choice. Um, chicken, again, organic. Free range, um, a good choice here. The salmon, um, they had two different types today. 
I always choose the wild salmon. They, they had a fresh Atlantic salmon, it's a fresh Atlantic, and I think if you don't read the label, um, you're gonna see that it has added coloring. Um, I don't like the added coloring. It has been known or has been said that it causes cancer. So I stay away from that as much as I can. This one, wild salmon, and that's it. So always look for the wild caught salmon. Okay, so that is with the meats. I moved on next, and what else? Oh, which the dry goods aisle, so I'll be back with that. Okay, so in here, I um, grabbed some pastas. They didn't have a whole lot. So of course, people leave the healthy stuff, and good for me, bad for them. Um, organic red lentil pasta. Um, great because all it contains is red lentil flour. Same with this brown rice pasta, organic brown rice, and water. So if your kids like regular pasta, that's fine. I get it. Sometimes it's a little bit different texture. You can mix it sometimes and see if they like it um, for you, for your spouse. If you want a healthier alternative, a great thing to do is just add this as a side. It could be a half cup. It could be a cup. Um, and it just keeps you fuller longer. And if you have that pasta craving, um, it does do the trick. So a healthier alternative has more fiber and again will keep you satiated a little longer than just a regular um, you know, gluten wheat pasta. Okay, two sauces. I bought these two um, basically to give you an example. One of them is the organic marinara sauce. Sounds super healthy and great, right? And this other one is not organic. It's the Trader Giotto's uh, Arabiata sauce. So let's have a look at the label, all right? Usually if I'm in a hurry, I'm sure many of us would be like, oh, awesome, organic marinara sauce. How bad can it be, right? So I'm looking at the label and it's really long, which is always, always a red flag for me. Um, okay, tomatoes, good. Tomato paste, good. Then we've got tomato juice, awesome. Keep going down, soybean oil, organic expeller pressed soybean oil. So soybean oil, not necessary, you guys. Canola oil, soybean oil, um, sunflower oil, those are oils that are high in inflammatory properties as well as GMOs. So I know GMOs, there is debate out there, but as far as inflammation, we know that these oils are high in omega-6s and that causes inflammation in our gut. So bloating, allergies, decreased immunity, all those things can be caused by those types of ingredients in our foods. If you would like to choose a better option, what else is it? Sorry, I didn't even look. This also contains dairy, so if you're not, um, if you're dairy intolerant or lactose intolerant, remember this has Parmesan cheese, I did not know that. Um, that is pretty much the two, like the worst things in this. I'm gonna grab this one. Um, again, nothing, there's nothing artificial in this, and this doesn't say organic, but I would choose this hands down over that other one. And I've always, I've bought that one before. This is crazy. Um, tomatoes, tomato puree, roasted red bell peppers, carrots, extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil, we know you guys, is a good fat, a good monounsaturated fat. So that's awesome. Garlic, sea salt, spices, and then citric acid, which is um, not harmful. So this one, the Arabiata sauce, I know it's spicy, but take a look at the, at the ingredients. And if, it, if you can read most of them within you know 10 seconds, you're usually on a good path. So um, I found a new thing, Trader Giotto's Arabiata sauce. Okay, done with that. I'm gonna move on. What did, what did I go to next? I went to the frozen aisle. I'll be right back. This one's gonna require two trips. As you can see, frozen items are a commodity right now. Okay, let's start with the meats first. So I have to admit, I didn't find many things within the meat department that I liked. Everything had added starches, added soy oil, added soy protein, all of those things that I just don't understand why they have to add to meats. Um, nothing in the in the veggie burger aisle either, nothing. So sorry to break it to you guys, but most of the things there at Trader Joe's, um, if you are vegan, um, not really great. If you wanted something vegan, I would go to more of the traditional stores like Bonds because they have the Beyond Meat patties, which again, I don't give it a grade, but it's better than nothing. Amy's brand is a great brand for that. Um, and I think another meat brand, if you're not looking for vegan, is Tribali Foods. So that's found at Whole Foods. But I found good options here for meat. 
This one is your grass-fed Angus beef burger. So grass-fed, remember I said it's awesome. It's not 100% grass-fed, it doesn't say it on here, so that would be your optimal, but we're not looking for optimal right now, guys, right? We're looking for whatever's our option. And this, one ingredient, ground grass-fed Angus beef. So you're looking for burgers, you wanna throw this on the broiler, and a good option. Next is our turkey burgers. Trader Joe's turkey burgers. Trader Turkey Kosher Salt Rosemary Extract. It doesn't say organic, doesn't say grass-fed. Hey, but that's okay. You're still getting um, a good source of protein here, and it's pretty clean. All right, so those two, great option. Um, veggies. So lots and lots of awesome veggies. Whenever you can stock up, get them because you don't know where you're going to find them fresh. Is asparagus, just asparagus spears. Roast them in the oven, chop them up, throw them in a saute. You're good to go. Edamame, such an amazing snack. If you guys are snackers out there, which I know you guys are, and you need something salty, something filling, this edamame basically is edamame and salt. You just It takes just a few minutes to boil them up or you can stick them in the microwave. You can have about a cup, and it's I think it's 100 calories, but here we go. You've got four grams of fiber per serving, nine grams of protein. So protein here and fiber, and that's what you always wanna look for in a snack, you guys. Something that contains all of it, the carbs, the protein, a little bit of fat and fiber because you want to be full and satiated after you have it, right? You don't want to be going back to the pantry again an hour later. So edamame, one of my main, my favorite choices. Cauliflower rice. They didn't have fresh cauliflower rice today at Trader Joe's. Such a bummer because I love this stuff. Um, this one, frozen, just as good. Organic cauliflower and sea salt. That's it. Um, roast this up in a pan. You can add a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. I like putting, um, um, I, I'm gonna show you this in, in a second. There is a kale cashew um, sauce that Trader Joe's has that I like mixing it with. So cauliflower and then the fruit. Yes, I got this, oh, more, more veggies. This one is awesome too, with these grilled veggies. So I'm just gonna throw this on a roasting pan tonight. I never tried this, but um, again, really good. Nothing but olive oil and all this, my favorite veggies here. You can throw this on a pizza too. We'll get to pizza next. Um, berries, I love berries. They are high in phytochemicals, um, helps with many things like increasing your mood, decreasing your cancer risk, helps with immunity. Um, and these organic mixed berries are awesome and they're organic. So with some of the fruits and vegetables, sometimes I tend to be a little bit more conservative and sometimes I really accept nothing but organic. And berries tend to be higher in pesticides than anything else. So whenever you can, grab those organic ones. And they have these, a bunch of these at Pear Joe's. You know what? I forgot one thing I wanted to tell you because I think this is important. In the prepared deli section, um, there's a bunch of pre-made chicken, which I love having these on hand, again, when I don't have any other options. This is not organic, but if I need some protein on top of a salad or a grab-and-go, um, I like the just chicken. This is new. I haven't, I mean, I just saw this in the recent months at Trader Joe's. There's a few packaged chickens there. This is the only one you should be getting. The other ones had sugar, soybean oil, maltodextrin. I mean, their, their ingredient list was so long, and I'm like, you guys, it's just chicken, like just chicken. You wrote that on the package. This one, chicken, olive oil, salt, and black pepper. Thank you, thank you very much. The other one is like a green label, and I think it says simply grilled chicken or something like that. It's not simple, guys. So remember, yellow label with this little chicken in the front. Get this one every time. Okay, are we moving on? I think so. Okay, we're moving on. What did I go to next? I went to the snack aisle. Be right back. Okay, nuts. Love nuts. <laughs> I got two bags. And this was another one of those moments at Trader Joe's and I'm like, oh crap, I've been buying these and eating these and I didn't realize to look at the labels. So here we go. Just a handful of 50% less salt and roasted whole cashews. Sounds good, right? Just a handful and less salt. So I go back and look at the label and it's cashews, rice bran oil, and salt. Why? Why do you have to add rice bran oil? I'm so disappointed. I still got them. Okay, I will still eat them, but I'm probably not gonna buy these anymore. On the other hand, Almonds, just a handful of raw almonds. These are your friends, you guys. I like the prepackaged, so you can't overeat them. Grab and go, if you want that snack, you grab it out of your pantry, and you eat that, and you're done. You know you had your serving. What do we have here? Hello, almonds, just the way nature intended for you to eat them. So, 
these over the cashews any day. If you like cashews, check the label. They should just have cashews and probably sea salt. If you want raw cashews, that's all they should have. Okay, next, I, oh wait, one more snack. Popcorn, love, love popcorn. Popcorn is one of those snacks where if you're having that chip craving, that salty, um, I'd go for it because you can have quite a bit of it. Three and a half cups here, guys, has 140 calories, so that's not a lot. Um, but here's the cool thing, four grams of fiber. So anything with over three grams is a good amount of fiber to have in a food. Um, a little bit of protein, but the best thing, because I know there's a lot of popcorns out there, um, is that it's seasoned, sorry, it has olive oil. So it's made with olive oil. Olive oil, remember, it has the good monounsaturated fats. It's not high in omega-6s, it's not inflammatory. So you're not gonna have the GMOs in there. You're not gonna have things that will be harmful to your gut. Um, if it has canola oil, sunflower oil, you might wanna skip it. I know there's another brand, let me just show you right now. I'm gonna grab it from my pantry. Yes, and the bag is half eaten. This is my favorite. You can get it at Trader Joe's, it's called Lesser Evil. This one is cheesy. It doesn't um, contain cheese, but it has that kind of kick to it. And it's it's um, made with coconut oil, which coconut oil is super healthy, even healthier than olive oil. Um, and it says organic, non-GMO popcorn. So. Um, you know it's coming from a good source. Lesser Evil Popcorn's got this Buddha guy on the front. It's really cute. Um, my favorite popcorn ever. I'm rationing it right now. It's my last bag. Okay. Um, yes, from the Frozen, I forgot to talk about these guys. So you can't get this one at Trader Joe's, but I wanted to bring it out to show you. Um, cauliflower pizza. I love cauliflower pizza. Um, I'm so happy that they've actually improved it and um, I kind of get my pizza fixed now without all that the feeling of you know bloating because I just digested a ton of gluten. Although I do have real pizza <laughs> on occasion. So if I want it during the week, I can have my pizza fixed every week, but here's Trader Joe's cauliflower pizza crust. Again, healthier option, the Domino's, but if you take a look at the back, it's got cauliflower as the first ingredient, that's good, but corn flour, corn starch, potato starch, olive oil, that's good, um, and salt. So, um, and the fiber content of this is one gram. So you are getting a decent um, pizza crust here, but at the same time, because of all the starches, especially from corn and the potato, it's gonna spike your blood sugar and it doesn't have a lot of fiber in it to absorb it. So I would say if you had a choice, um, don't go for this. And again, if you have that pizza craving, you want something healthier than Domino's, fine, get it. The other option, they don't have this at Trader Joe's, but I love, love, love this company. It's called Cauliflower Foods. It's women owned and you can do mail order. They will send it to you frozen. I'm pretty sure they still will do this. I just got an email the other day that they're having 25% off on their pizza crust. So Cauliflower Foods, this one has dairy. Some of them don't. So if you don't like dairy, you can order that other option. It has all clean ingredients. It's made out of cauliflower crust, veggies. I don't know how they do it. Turmeric. Um, this one again has cheese, but I don't see any starches in here, any um, any high GMO oils. Um, really yummy, easy to make. You bake it for 12 minutes, top it with whatever toppings you want. Sometimes I don't even put cheese or I put a little bit of vegan cheese. Pesto, tomato sauce, tons of veggies, and you're done. It's really good, really filling. So I would recommend this one if you can't, um, if you can't get the, if you get, if you, if you have a chance. So lost my train of thought, so I was thinking about pizza. <laughs> Okay, what is next? I've got that, I've hit all those things. We have a couple more items to cover. Yes, I went to the dip aisle. Be right back. Okay, so um, all about ease right now, right? So a lot of my go-to um, sauces for you know topping salmon, or I mentioned my cauliflower rice. Um, I'll use marinara. Now I'll use that Trader Giotto's Arabiata. Um, I really like this vegan kale cashew and basil pesto. Um, kale, olive oil, water, basil, cashew butter, and garlic, sea salt. It's got some sunflower oil in it, but it's one of the last ingredients. So you know what, I'm gonna take it really good. Um, you can top your pizza with it again, and it goes well with the zucchini noodles, the cauliflower rice, regular rice, regular pasta, your red lentil pasta, super versatile with this one. So I like this, and it's almost always available. Okay. Bruschetta sauce. This one, I haven't bought it in a while, but I'm looking at the back. Awesome. Tomatoes, olive oil. Oh, it does have canola oil in it. 
white balsamic vinegar, but if you do a tablespoon and you know what, you mix it with those lentils that I showed you earlier and a little bit of goat cheese or maybe even um, nuts or something on top, it's a hearty kind of dip. So you can use it as a veggie dip. Again, on top of some Mary's Gone crackers. I'm gonna show you that too. Let me find that. Here, a great gluten-free cracker that's hearty, lots of, lots of fiber if you want that crunch. Um, they don't have these at Trader Joe's, but Vaughn's does. Um, so again, if you kind of want a little bit of that um, savory, this is a great way um, to add it. Um, it's a little bit more hearty than a salsa. Topping with chicken or topping it with, you know, topping your pasta with it. That zucchini pasta, again, it's a great option. Okay, are we down to our last? Yes, we are down to our last few items. I'll be right back. Okay, I managed to grab everything all at once. Oh wait, I forgot this dip, this other one I really love too, and the hummus. So, okay, so the dips, we're still talking about that. Cashew Fiesta dip. Even if you're not vegan, this is actually really, really good. Um, it's made with cashews. Oh, I cannot see, I'm gonna need glasses really soon. Um, carrots, onions, there's potatoes in there, that's fine, sea salt, vinegar, jalapenos. Um, the serving size, two tablespoons, has 30 calories two grams of fat, the carbs are low, two grams, um, no sugar. Um, if you melt it and you like either melt it on top of zucchini, again, using those Mary's Gone crackers, uh, it's really good. Um, it kind of, it's like nachos. So another good snack alternative, find something healthy-ish to dip it with and you've got um, your healthy vegan nachos right here. Ooh, they might actually taste good on um, if you mix it with some of the black beans in a can or those lentils. I don't know, I haven't tried that, so you might have to try that and let me know. Okay, moving right along. Dip, hummus. So this was another moment that I had, and I was like, I love this tomato hummus basil dip, and I've been getting it for such a long time. And of course, I went back and I'm like reading the label. The thing that bugs me about this is that it contains canola oil and modified cornstarch. So kind of two things that are high in the GMO list, um, inflammatory, the starches again spike your blood sugar. You're not having, unless you're eating the whole vat of it, it's probably not that big of a deal. I'm looking here, the sugars even are low. Um, so not super harmful, but if you had a choice, I would get this one. This is the organic hummus dip, not tomato basil, but you know what, maybe you can throw some of that bruschetta tomatoes on top of this. It would be amazing um, to get that, or this, and you get that extra flavor. Actually, I'm gonna try that tonight. That sounds really good. Um, this one, why it's better, it's not perfect. It's got garbanzo beans. Um, it does have canola oil, but it doesn't have the starch. Um, yeah, it just doesn't have as many of the artificial ingredients as this one. So maybe it's the tomato basil flavor that they added all this other stuff to. If you have a choice, get this one, add that bruschetta stuff on top and you'll be just as golden. Okay. Um, oh, I did go to the soup aisle. None of the soups there. I mean, they had those cartons, those reduced uh, calorie, low sodium tomato soups. Um, lots of different oils in there, fillers, starches, not really great, high in sodium, so I would avoid them. Um, one nice thing that Trader Joe's has is this bone broth. So you can cook with it. Bone broth is healthier for you because it contains collagen that's supposed to seal your gut, increase your immunity. I know this is probably not the highest quality bone broth you can get, but again, we're not talking about optimal right now, right? We're talking about our options. Um, great to cook with. If you, um, I think we, I talked about intermittent fasting one time on my blog. If you are intermittent fasting and you need something to get you through that first part of the fast, bone broth is acceptable, it won't break your fast, or just something to snack with. You wanna throw some veggies in here, um, a really good hearty snack that you can have in the middle of the afternoon if you are looking for something salty. Um, finally, in the dairy aisle, um, there are two options for vegan butter. So um, I picked them both. I actually had them both in my, in my refrigerator. Earth Balance, I used to buy this one all the time. It tastes buttery, it spreads really well, you can cook with it. Um, the ingredients, yeah, vegetable oil, palm fruit oil, soybean oil, and basically all the inflammatory oils you can basically put in there. Natural flavor, when it says natural flavor, that's a red flag, guys. That means it's not FDA governed and it's, there's, you, can't, there's no, you can't trace what exactly is in it. Defatted soy flour. I am so embarrassed that I actually even have this in my fridge. So I'm gonna put it to the side. 
this one, okay, this is my new love, Mykonos. This is the cultured vegan butter. So um, in this, its first ingredient is coconut oil. And we know coconut oil is being a healthy fat for you. It's a medium chain triglyceride. It helps um, us burn fat when we take it in. It also has antimicrobial properties. It helps us burn, helps us, um, helps our immune system. And it has coconut oil, water, cashews, sunflower lecithin, sea salt, and cultures. It does have sunflower oil in it, but again, not as bad as that other stuff. So if you're looking for a vegan butter, this one's great. It actually looks like, you know, butter you would buy that's regular. Um, and I, I love it. It has a great flavor and it doesn't have that fake taste, like all that oily taste. So this is my new vegan butter. Okay, I think I covered all of Trader Joe's. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have questions or if you have something that you have bought and you're not sure about, um, please, please just um, put it in the comments. Text me, email me, I'm happy to answer your questions. You can send me a photo of the label, that always helps, and I can help you navigate all of that. So um, I hope you're well, be safe out there. If you get to the grocery store, remember you're masking up, um, wiping everything down, and um, hopefully we'll get to a day where we don't have to wait in line to get into Trader Joe's anymore. All right, I'll see you back here tomorrow.